welcome back to my channel if you're new hello and welcome I thought I would do a quick sort of run through of how I'm using my B6 and also I'll, I'll tell you if I can where everything's from so to start with I'll just say now anything that I can link I will so I don't have to keep saying I'll link it I'll link it I'll link it if you're looking for something if I can find it, if it's still available, if I remember what it is, the links will be down below. So make sure you go and check out the drop down description. Um, all of my social media information and where to find me is down there. My The links to my Patreon and my at the moment closed <laughs> Etsy shop is down there also and I usually have PR codes and other useful information down there as well. So make sure you do that. So let's get into it. So the basic structure of the TN is obviously this bit and it's from Love From Poppy Designs. It's the, I think it's called Rose and it is B6 size with white elastic and white stitching. The, the elastic is looking like it could do with a little bit of a change, but <laughs> um, the bow on the front, I can't tell you where it's from because I got it on a swap table. It actually had loads of other stuff connected to it, but I just took it off and made it into this simple bow, but there are plenty of shops around that do similar things in all different colors and styles. On the side, I've got some charms. This heart one was sent to me by my friend Becca of Crafty Rack Designs and it is from Planet Gorgeous. This one is the one that I got for going to the Manchester Planner Bee event and this is from Cloudy Cow, um, who is Daisy of My Green Cow on YouTube. And this one is from Lala Plans when she did a load of Harry Potter stuff. Um, Lauren has reopened the shop, not absolutely everything that was in before is available but I will put the link down below to her shop. Um, as far as I know I'm still going to be doing PR for her so I will double check with her about a code and update the description if I've still got one or if it's different. Um, the pen is from Kiki K. It is an old collection though, but it's one of the gel pens. It usually comes in a pack of three. And they usually release these with every single collection. So if you go on the Kiki K website, there will be at least one set of these, I imagine. So going in. So it's the same on both sides in terms of pockets for this. So this here is a Kiki K paperclip from their latest range, which is like Own Your Story or something like that. Um, and it was in a pack of five or six. I think I've got another one here. Um, these teardrop paperclips, I've just got them from various places. Sometimes they've been included in pocket letters and sometimes when I've bought stuff from shops they've clipped their like business card to something with one of those. So I think they're quite readily available from places like AliExpress and there probably is loads of Etsy shops that also stock them. So nowhere specific I'm afraid. This piece of card is from Serena B, probably Chosen One or Slate Girl and it just says Grr Arg, like at the end of Buffy. This was a die cut from La La Plans and it was in a pack of five, but she's just so me with her bun and her. If that was a husky instead of a cat, that would that would be me right there. I have a power tag, um, which I did along to Geraldine's um, tutorial, which I will link down below as well. And this one says balance. Just a little reminder. And then this is um, a thing I made with um, a pocket in, so a laminated pocket. And both these um, pattern papers are from Summer Babe by Serena B. This 
was a printable from Plan With Shan on her blog. She had a whole sheet, or quite a few sheets of lettered different words um, at the beginning of the year. And my um, word for this year is focus. So I've got it there as a reminder. So I've got this dashboard that I made myself. The um, image here is again a printable from Plan With Shan. You'll see a lot of her stuff in here because I absolutely adore her and everything she does. Um, she has a YouTube channel as well, an amazing Instagram, a blog, a shop. She's just a creative all-rounder planner girl. <laughs> and the paper it's backed onto is from Miss Rachel B's um, digital collection, which I did a video on, so I'll link that as well. And so is this side. And this is a dashboard that I made with a pocket. I do have a video on how to make one, and it was this one at the back, which I'll show you later. So I'll link that as well if you're interested. Um, and this is also a free um, printable die cut from Plan With Shan, which I've just clipped there. Because unless you stuff these, they do, <laughs> it does move around because it's laminate and it's slippy, so just put that in place because obviously it's Easter it's around Easter I'm not sure when this is going to go up to YouTube because this is a first look video for my Patreon so they'll probably see it before Easter weekend so I'm not sure when it's going to go out but yeah and this vellum is from Craft Duet Designs PR code down below and it says which please on it and I just love I love vellum I need that's one thing I need more of in here I need more vellum and then I've got this little insert, excuse the language if you don't like it, um, yeah, but get stuff done. <laughs> and this is a printable from Plan With Shan as well, it just looks like this. And I just use this as a general like running, not even just a running to-do list, but if I think of anything, like I've got some video ideas in here, I've got photo ideas in here, I've got things I might need in here. Um, Kind of craft supply tool wise um, yeah so it's, I just use it as a dumping ground basically and then obviously this is the other side I've got that Kiki K one of an eye mask which is hilarious I love things with eye masks on because I actually do wear one <laughs> at night time and then obviously this is just the other side the dashboard this little um, journaling card was put in a little happy mail package from my friend Lou of anything else here I'll link her down her shop down below as well because um, she does loads of hand lettered stickers and stuff in her own handwriting and so she did my name for me uh, this die cut is also from crafty rat designs because she started doing some kind of witchy type stuff and I do like a bit of spooky stuff on occasion despite being a pink and pastely girl um, and then this is the other side I just did a doodle like heart with an arrow through it because it had notebooks on it and it just reminded me of being a teenager and just doodling on your exercise book um, there's some sticky notes here just in case I need them just a few and these are from ohdear.com and then I've laminated one of the element pieces of this um, woman with the flowers in her hair. This is from Miss Rachel B's uh, collection as well. Um, this die cut was a free printable die cut from Brunella B, I think. I will link, um, I found it via their Instagram or her Instagram. Um, this marble paper is actually just a stock, stock image that I found on the internet. So like a free to use, copyright free um, thing. So I've just printed it and backed it onto this heart print paper, which is also from Miss Rachel B's um, digital collection. This is another die cut from uh, Plan With Shan. This is her like Valentine's one. And it says love and there's a little Polaroid picture of me and my beloved there. Um, then we go into my monthly insert and I've stuck uh, one of Shan's 
freebie babes on there as well and this just looks like this inside this is from my pretty week this bunny I got this last year um, this monthly insert is from I want to say it's pronounced Althea Puku if I'm absolutely butchering that I do apologize but like I said earlier I will link anything down below so that's just I just use that to jot down birthdays and any upcoming events. This is from Charlie's Magpie. Yes, this was in. This was one of the swag freebies from um, UKPA Big Meat. Um, <laughs> and then I just sometimes just use that area just to clip a sticker sheet I might be using. So that's the one I'm using at the moment. This is another printable from Plan With Shan from her website. It was designed to be used on vellum, but I didn't have any vellum. <laughs> so I just printed it on cardstock to be a cover to my weekly, which is also one of her printables from her blog. I recommend following her, her blog. She posts really, really amazing stuff on there. Um, she has a Facebook group she has an Etsy shop, well she has a pr printable Etsy shop, a website, she's US based where she does her physical products including merchandise such as t-shirts and mugs and stuff like that. Um, am I forgetting anything? Yeah she's on Instagram, she's on YouTube, she's amazing. I recommend following her everywhere you can. Um, so this has been working quite well with me, but if you've seen my Planner, Planners and Journals 2018 video, which I'll link as well, I talked about just using this for like, hashtag work, <laughs> but I've started kind of using it as my everyday, and my A6 just to have little like journals in and stuff, because um, <laughs> I'm, I'm a pain in the backside. Um, so I think I'm actually going to need more space, so I might be on the lookout um, for another insert, which is a shame because I have really enjoyed using this and it's worked really well so far, but I think I'm going to need more space in a day, which is a shame, but I recommend it anyway. And then that's the other side. This is the February exclusive freebie of Lils who is in the PR team for Craft Direct Designs with me. I just, it's not that I favour Lil over the other girls, it's just that I knew the heart balloons and everything would really go with the kind of pink and sort of lovey dovey style that I've got going on in here and so I asked Becca if I could possibly have Lil's <laughs> freebie and she let me so this one isn't available anymore because our PR freebies change month by month. My current one is, if you don't know, mine's called Onyx and it's a black rat and the image, the die cut this month for March is, if this goes up <laughs> um, before the end of March is um, Onyx like cradling a little lamb, a little spring lamb which is really cute. Don't know what our April ones are going to be yet. Then I've got a picture of my my dog babies. Uh, so that's Rogue and Simba. I've got a Husky and a Chow Chow if you didn't know. And then I've got this laminated little planner girl which is um, Plan with Shan as well. I think I, did I say? I don't, can't remember. The pen loop is from Lala Plans. I'm not sure she's doing these anymore. Um, this uh, image was from Shan's Patreon, I think. Plan with Shan's Patreon. Yeah, she's on Patreon as well. Um, and this is the one I made in the video. If so, I'll link that if you want to know how to make a laminated dashboard with pockets on the inside. And then this was another of the lettering from this sheet. So I put that on there. The paper is Mrs. Brimble's. Um, that does have cacti underneath, but because it was all pinky, I've just clipped that onto the front and this was from an ephemera pack from Hobby Craft, Craft which I don't think is available anymore. I think it's like, is it Jen Hadfield or something like that? Um, and then the other side, this is the marbly side of that um, paper. 
This is Plan With Shan Patreon freebie as well, and some more of those. Um, oh dear. Oh dear.com um, post its. This is from Robin's Printables. I don't use this every day, but it is a daily, as you can see, with an hourly thing. If I have a particularly busy day, I'll use this, but I don't use it um, every single day. Um, and you can get it, I think you can get it in a range of colours, um, or just like grayscale. Um, this bookmark is from Flab, Fab Planner Print. I'm not sure if she's got this design anymore because I know she had it over the over winter but if I can find it I'll link it um, it didn't come to me laminated but it's on really nice cardstock it's just that because it was white and I absolutely loved it because even though it's a fox it reminds me of Rogue um, I didn't want it to get all dirty and as a result because I've laminated it it's a bit slippy um, nothing to do with nothing to do with the shop's quality or anything like that is because I've laminated it so I just keep it in place with that little exclamation point um, paper clip which was gifted to me in a pocket letter so I apologize I don't know where that's from either um, where are we and then this is the back pocket and this is a die cut from Crafty Right Designs and this is a die cut from Mrs Brimble's um, I don't know where this is from either, it's a paper clip, um, but I got it on a swap table, a planner event, and then I've got this gold digger um, insert, and this is a little rainbow moon um, clip. This is Plan With Shan as well from her blog, so you can put your goal, steps, and a reward for completing it. I just use this for quite big goals like when I was on the run up to opening my Patreon and things to do to reopen my Etsy shop and sort of big goals like that um, so I don't use it it's like everyday goals it's like or if I want I don't know oh yeah another thing I had is um, I was making my way through some um, Adobe Illustrator videos so I wrote all the titles of the video so I can check them off to say that I've done them. This is also from Plan With Shan on her blog, um, Girl Boss Hustle, this big, um, she's got loads of different varieties that you can print off as well. Um, this huge, mahoosive paperclip, it was a gift from Becca in a pocket letter or something I believe. And then I have another power tag that says positivity. And then I have another one of these decorative um, laminated pocket things. This one doesn't actually have anything in at the moment, um, but it just conceals these stickers, which are from Paper Chic Co, but I believe they're called Paper Chic Plans now. So laptop day and photos. So yeah, sometimes in like the pocket of those, the pockets of I've, I've chosen to go more decorative at the moment but I did have some like small sticker sheets in some of it so that is my setup she's well loved um, she's a bit bashed now she's got a bit of a scrape on the front but she's well loved and well used if you have any questions at all or you feel like I haven't mentioned anything or, um, or if I forget to put something in the description or something like that um, then let me know. Let me know what size you're using. What planners are you using? Have you found the elusive planner piece, which I don't think exists? <laughs> um, but if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Chat to me in the comments. And if you're not subscribed already, I would love it if you would do so. And until next time, I shall say bye for now. Bye.